Hey guys, Chris here. You join me here at the International Auto Show here in Germany in Munich. And yeah, I started this day with another big fail. I don't know why I'm having so much bad luck this summer with my camera gear, with cars. It's, it's kind of frustrating because yeah, I just don't know what to do. So I'm walking the event here and I see that new BMW concept car. I don't even remember what it's called now. I pull up my gear, it's really crowded, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get a few shots out of this. And I just updated my camera gear because my old camera is at service, been there for two months, and yeah. So I bought a new camera, bought a new lens, bought new microphones, bought new everything for this trip to be able to give you guys, you know, the best quality possible. And the videos I've uploaded now recently, the two Polestar, the Polestar 2, Polestar 3 videos, and also my Rotor videos, great quality. I'm really satisfied with that. But I pull out my camera. I have a quick release on my tripod, my handheld tripod to my body. And then I thought it was clicked. And then I'm like, oh, reaching out like this. And then it's not. And then everything just falls to the ground. And I break my lens mount and my microphone mount. It's still possible to film on it because it's not completely disconnected. but. I think today I'm just gonna have to try to wing it and hopefully you guys enjoy the video and for me to have better luck please be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below thank you very much so with that out of the way let's check out and see if we see any cool cars here at the IAA 2023 So I've been walking through all of these halls. I'm now in the fourth hall and there hasn't been a lot of exciting things to, to see. You guys probably saw a B-roll of that i7 protection, the first electric armored car in the world and also that BMW new class vision. But other than that, there isn't a lot. So I don't know if today's video is gonna be that exciting except for me breaking my camera. But here at this Snapdragon booth, they have a very cool uh, car here, but it's hidden. We're not allowed to uh, even see it. It's behind this glass, so I don't know if we, I can actually give you guys a proper shot. But yeah, it's just, you know, a model. I don't think Snapdragon are planning on making a car, but it's really cool. Snapdragon digital chassis. So it probably has to do with hardware and also uh, software processors and stuff like that. So yeah, so let's see if we can find anything exciting in this fourth hall. Walking around here, there isn't too much exciting, and my camera is still holding on, though my lens is almost falling off, so I think I have to be really careful. But finally, guys, something pretty exciting to show you. This is the ID Concept GTI, and uh, this is pretty, pretty cool, pretty awesome. So this is, you know, bringing back the GTI badge name to Volkswagen. They've had the GTXs, the sporty versions, but this, you know, harkens back to the original GTI from 1976 or 1974. I don't remember, like the Golf came out in like 74 and I think the GTI came out in 76. But look at this, really cool with, you know, the red stripe, the GTI badge there. No step, don't, don't step out of my front uh, spoiler. This is really, really cool. I'm hoping I'm able to film this a little bit later for you guys, but I wasn't able to get down here to the press event, so I'm filming here on a public day. That's why it's super busy, and I'm not able to show you guys all the cars because there are just so many people here. And with my lens almost broken out, I don't wanna you know, risk it and hop into a car that's crowded and people with their arms and their bodies. It's kind of hard navigating here with my camera bag and my tripod, but I wanna show you guys this because this is super, super cool. I think it's based on the ID2 concept. Yeah, I really do like this. Real, real cool rear lights. Check the graphics, the GTI graphics there. And with the ID GTI concept. Let me know in the comment section down below, guys. Is this a car you guys are interested in? I'm really excited about this. I just hope, you know, they give it a little bit of power because these electric cars now with their big batteries or even medium sized and small batteries, they weigh a lot, right? So having like 200, 250 horsepower in a small hatchback especially an electric one, isn't a lot today. 
in today's you know uh, in today's money check out those really really cool and awesome wheels and guys I do hope my camera and the quality is holding up even though my lens is like almost half broken off so this is what I want to show you guys if we just can pass all of these people as I said it's really busy here public day I haven't seen this in person this is the a6 e-tron avant concept this is what the future e-trons are gonna look like from Audi the big ones and I have to say in person this looks spectacular you know if you're new to the channel I owned an Audi e-tron GT a few years ago and that is one of the best if not the best looking electric car on the market but I have to say that this with you know the reminiscence of that e-tron GT grill these very thin headlights and just the stance of this car I know this is a concept so it probably has too big of wheels though they're only 22s so you can have 22s on an rs6 so it's it's not too bad and also the virtual mirrors not a fan of those so uh yeah but i mean it, this thing looks super awesome it's a huge electric car but i hope to do this make it aerodynamic this is an electric car i could absolutely road trip through europe with yeah this is really really nice check it out a6 avant e-tron concept that's pretty cool the lit up uh, Audi badge on the rear deck lid, making my way through here. Yeah, really nice. This even has an interior. This even has an interior. Wow. Well, not much of an interior, just like, I think it's just plastic, just to show you guys, uh, just to, you know, have something in the interior. But have to say, so far, this event really, uh, really picked up now. I was kind of disappointed because there weren't anything interesting, but seeing this, electric car yeah this is one of my favorites let me know in the comment section down below guys are you excited about this the Audi a6 Avant e-tron quite a few years ago now we got the mission e concept from Porsche which became the Taycan and well if you're not new here you know all about the Taycan ideally a Taycan cross Turismo but this one behind me which is the mission mission X Porsche have said it's not gonna go into production but this is an electric supercar and I have to say this does look freaking awesome and spectacular check out the mission x livery on the side there with the carbon fiber some insane wheels i mean this thing in person looks like a freaking le mans car from the 60s i'm not kidding you guys it's such an insane design and i'm not able to show you guys this i will i asked the guy at porsche if i'm able to film this uh, you know in private also but it's only open to the public here but my God, is this the highlight of the day? What if Porsche put this into production? It's probably gonna be more expensive than anybody can afford, especially, especially me. But look at those rear wheels. Look at that stance. I mean, that is concept car hips. But yeah, I don't think that that's gonna make it into production. Please, Porsche, make this car. I mean, insane front splitter with carbon fiber. Insane headlights. I'm not a huge fan of the headlights and I have to say that this car in photos and in video doesn't do it justice. Just how insane this thing looks in person. Check out the interior. Check out those crazy, crazy seats. I have to say this was worth almost breaking my camera. This is worth walking the whole event and not seeing anything <laughs> exciting. But this car, guys, this. Oh, check out those insane freaking rear, rear taillights rear headlights, I almost said rear headlights. This is a cool detail, Porsche badge there in the rear window. I mean, I have to say that this, this thing, what an insane design. Let me know guys, if you're a real petrol head, a gear head, is this something that would persuade you out of an internal combustion engine car? Well, I'm already into electric cars, but I think if I was really into my, well, internal combustion cars, which I am, but I live in Norway, so, you know, doesn't make any sense there. But if I didn't live in Norway and had a lot of money, I think this could actually persuade me out of a high performance supercar. Wow. This is also an electric car I haven't seen yet in person. And it's not at the Kia stand, it's something called Mobis Tech. Mobis is a tech company, obviously, or apparently. So this is the Kia EV9. I've actually been invited to the launch in Norway. So hopefully I'm gonna make a video on this for you guys in the near future. But this is a huge car, even though I think the dimensions are smaller than the EX90 on this year. This is a really huge thing, and I can't wait to test this car out. It is on the eGMP platform, uh, a Hyundai Kia's you know, 800 volt architecture, um, which does charge fast and does offer good 
you know, efficiency. But what they've been struggling with, it is a little bit is, you know, heat management of the batteries and, and yeah, not always getting that top speed while charging. But yeah, really cool. Cool seeing this in person for the first time. And I have to say that it really looks nice in, in this color, you know. This doesn't either present that well, not on camera, but I have to say on camera, thing looks pretty awesome. I can't wait to test this car in the real world. So that's it guys here from the summit at the IAA here at the Mesa. Tomorrow I'm going to go downtown to the open space to see if there are any interesting cars there. I'm going to make my own video on the Tesla Model 3 at least and hopefully that Polestar design contest model that they you know are showing at Polestar spaces here in Munich. And also I have to go get my camera fixed, my lens, uh, such bad luck. Brand new lens, brand new camera, and it's broken. It's still working, but it's, you know, almost falling off the body now. So I have to fix the mount. I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but some way I'm gonna have to find a way. So guys, I do hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please drop me a thumbs up down below. And for more car content, as always, please subscribe. See you guys there and goodbye.